Okay, so here we have the ANPRO2 Bluetooth Mechanical Keyboard, just released by Ovens. Um, so a lot of people in the mechanical keyboard community have been wondering what new features and functions this keyboard has to offer in comparison to the original ANPRO. Um, so let's go over what the ANPRO2 has. So here at FlashCork we have Kale Box, which is available um, with the ANPRO2 in box red, box black, and box brown. Um, the board you see here in front of you is a kale box brown version. Um, externally, there are not that many changes. It's visually still a 60% a standard 60% keyboard. Um, it has PBT double shot keycaps. Now, the keycap legends have changed a little bit. You'll notice on the space bar that it says ANPRO2 here and there's an FN1, FN2, and on the caps lock it says magic function. And uh, we'll go over those features in a little bit. Now for the USB, instead of micro USB from before, it has been changed to a USB type C cable. On the back side of the keyboard you'll notice that there's now an on off switch um, so you can turn off the battery when the keyboard's not in use. Um, that was a big complaint for the original AND Pro where there was no on-off switch so when you wanted to transport the keyboard and you put it in a backpack or whatever, if there was anything press pressing on the keys, it would just drain the battery the whole time. Um, so that's definitely a welcome addition to the new keyboard. Um, internally it now has a 1900 milliamp hour battery which is larger than the original AND Pro. Um, so the keyboard itself comes with uh, a quick start manual and a wire keycap puller and so this is definitely an upgrade from the plastic ring keycap puller that came with the original ANPRO. As for the firmware there have been uh, some pretty major changes actually and it's almost like a new keyboard at least in my opinion. Uh, the firmware has been completely redone with new functions and features, so let's go over what it has. Um, first off, the keyboard supports complete layout uh, reprogramming. So um, it's a lot like QMK or TMK firmware where you can make key maps um, to remap the keys to wherever you'd like them to be. Okay, so here we have what uh, Obens calls Obens Lab Starter, which is the computer companion software for the ANPRO2 keyboard. Um, now here on the main home page, you'll see that it says battery and running time. Um, you'll see the battery says 100%. Um, now I'm using a beta version of the uh, Obens Lab Starter software, so you have to ignore the running time for right now um, of four hours, because it's definitely over that amount of time. Um, I believe that they're still uh, fine-tuning the calibration of the battery and battery detection, battery percentage detection. Um, now, overall, I've used it for over four hours over Bluetooth um, on battery, and it's definitely past that time, so we'll just have to see uh, with some more tests actually how long the battery can last for. Um, in addition, now you can uh, set the layout as either default or user, and we'll go into layout in a little bit. Um, you can enable or disable tap, magic function, macros, and caps lock LED. Um, now caps lock LED so far is the only one that I haven't managed to figure out what the purpose is. Um, so for tap functionality, the Tap functionality enables keys to behave differently when tapped or held. Um, so by default, this, 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 and this key are used as arrow keys. So if you tap them, they work as just normal arrow keys. Let's uh, just type some random stuff here and then type some random stuff here. And so you'll see that you can just use them as normal arrow keys. And the way it differentiates between the uh, actual listed legend uh, key purpose as, uh, and uh, from the arrow key function is if they're tapped they are the arrow keys. If they're held then 
becomes the what it was actually meant to be. So back to Open's Lab Starter, um, another new feature is that you can do complete layout reprogramming. Um, so you can make new key maps. It's a lot like QMK or TMK firmware where uh, you can just reprogram any key to become anything else that you want. Um, there's on the right side here we can see that there can be function keys, the lighting keys, um, the Bluetooth profiles, any standard alphanumeric keys, modifiers, arrows, um, the other function and modifier keys, media. And um, the cool thing is that you can save different key maps or layouts um, so that there's a quick and easy way to load uh, different layouts into your keyboard. Now, uh, if you remember from the legends earlier, there are two function keys. Um, and the two main function keys can be remapped to whatever you would like, and that's through the layout editor. So here we have function 1, and you'll see all the F1 through F10, and uh, arrow keys, arrow keys, and everything else. And then FN2, um, by def this is all by default right now, um, has the Bluetooth profiles and the lighting up here. And then you can even remap uh, the tap functionality. And so technically, there's actually a third function key called magic function, um, and that's on the caps lock uh, key. And the way it works is that it mirrors either function one or function two. Um, so you have the option on the home page here, and you'll see magic function, and you can either disable it if you don't want it at all, or it can behave like function one, and so it'll bring up the function one layer in uh, whatever your current key map is, or if you enable it as function 2, it'll uh, flip the board to the second function layer. And so one of the uh, very useful purposes of the magic function key is that, um, so by default, the arrow keys are here. And you would normally use it by pressing function 1 and these. And that's the same as the and pro, um, the original and pro. Um, but the cool addition is that, let's say that you're typing and you don't feel like moving your hands off the home row. Well, you can use the magic function key. I shouldn't have deleted stuff from before. So I'm typing here, and let's say that I don't feel like moving off the home row. You'll see that I can just use these as arrow keys by pressing and holding the caps lock key down and moving WASD. So there's uh, potentially a lot of different uses for that. The sky's the limit. Now for the lighting, um, in back to Open's Lab Starter, instead of using the mobile app for the original AND Pro, now lighting um, can directly be programmed through um, the Open's Lab Starter software, uh, which is definitely more convenient than you know doing it on either your iPad or your phone or whatever. Um, and so you can save a bunch of different profiles with uh, different lighting settings, and uh, each RGB LED is individually addressable. Um, one thing that was uh, technically grayed out in the original mobile app but here actually works is the dynamic lighting effects. Um, and so with dynamic lighting, you cannot individually address the LEDs as you would with the static lighting. Um, so the way it works is, so let's say rainbow. You can change the order that the dynamic lighting will show up on the keyboard. So let's see here for right now, if you preview, it click preview, um, you'll see that it instantly loads the lighting profile into the keyboard, and we see the uh, the rainbow um, dynamic lighting scrolling across. And so let's turn off preview for a sec. I don't did I actually turn it off? I guess not. Um, but we can actually change whatever we want to see. So let's say that I only want to have blue and let's add orange flash court colors. And so let's say we only wanted those, and then click preview. Now you see that it scrolls blue and orange instead. Um, so 
obviously there are limitations to the dynamic lighting but personally I think that's fun nevertheless um, and so yeah overall I think it's just much easier to do the uh, lighting programming through the through the computer software rather than on the phone personally I never used uh, the mobile app because it was relatively inconvenient and so for uh, those of you who currently own an AND Pro 1, there is a very, very welcome change for macros, as in they actually work now. Um, previously, for those of you who don't know, the macros kind of worked, but everything was messed up, as in when you program, programmed in certain keys, they would actually come out outputting as other keys. Um, but it definitely works this time around. And similarly to the both lighting and um, key map programming, you can make different macro groups. Um, and so macros can be recorded up to 16 keys at a time. And um, you can just uh, program them on the go. So here, let's say that we map it to M. And so later on, you. Um, in the front page, you actually have the option of choosing which one of the two function keys in combination with what, uh, what you choose right here will set off the macro. So I'm setting it to M, and um, originally it was macros are set to function 1 right now. So function 1 plus M will set off this macro. And then you can uh, record the macro to whatever you want, and then save. Easy as that. And so another nice change is now the firmware can be updated directly through Obens Lab Starter. So if you go to the home page and click firmware upgrade, um, you'll see that um, you can directly click upgrade to the latest and it'll automatically download and then um, install the firmware files onto the keyboard. And you may, may be wondering why I'm uh, bringing up such a you know a pretty standard and uh, normal thing but for the original and pro if you wanted to update the firmware it was a fairly tricky process where you had to download two different um, firmware files and then you had to load them in one at a time uh, one for the LED microcontroller and then one for the keyboard microcontroller itself so it's definitely a lot simpler of a process now and hopefully Obens will be um, releasing firmware updates more frequently and uh, more useful useful firmware updates as well. Okay, so there you have it, the Anpro 2 Bluetooth mechanical keyboard with kale box switches. Uh, personally, I think that even if you have the original Anpro, the Anpro 2 is worth getting. Um, it may look like the same keyboard, but with all the firmware changes and the uh, new functionality, it feels like a completely new keyboard when you're using it. Um, if you plan on getting the AND Pro 2, um, we do have some left available for pre-order, um, but get on that quick. There aren't that many left. Just go to flashcork.com and on the front page in the featured items you'll see the AND Pro 2 available for purchase. Thanks for watching.